pump a small amount of air into the tube so it holds a circular shape and is roughly the same size as the tire. It's good practice to place any coloured label or script at the valve. This may make it easier to trace a small elusive puncture hole. If the tyre doesn't have a label, use the pressure information or some other identifiable marking. Feed the tube into the tyre with the valve adjacent to the label. Push the valve into the valve hole and fit one bead onto the rim. Start by pushing the valve into the hole in the rim, then get a section of the bead into the well of the rim, the bottom of the rim nearest the centre of the wheel, to generate enough slack to get the rest over the rim wall. The tyre is half on. Put the wheel on the floor with the valve at the bottom and the open side of the tyre away from your legs. Place your hands together on top of the tyre with your thumbs on the side away from your legs. Point your thumbs away from each other. Push the first section of bead over the rim. Lock one hand in position and work the other away, rolling the tyre over the rim wall. Once your hand is halfway down, lock it and work the other in the opposite direction until it's also halfway to the floor. Once you've reached the point where the tyre will stay in position on the rim, deflate the tube. Go back to the start position with the thumbs pointing away from each other. Squeeze the beads together and force them down into the well of the rim. As your hands reach the three o'clock, nine o'clock position, you can lean on the tyre to hold the beads in place. Get your thumbs to the point where the bead is going over the wall of the rim. Work the bead over the rim with your thumbs as you keep the tyre in tension to concentrate the slack at the area around the valve. Press the valve up into the tyre to check the valve seat is inside the beads. Inflate the tube to about 25 pounds per square inch. Work round both sides of the tyre in turn, forcing the bead away from the rim to check the tube isn't visible. If you can see the tube, it's trapped under the bead. 